In today's quick tutorial, we're going to show you how you can tweak your Google ecosystem on a Mac. If like me, you use Macs regularly, but you prefer Google's Gmail, Calendar, Chrome, etc. This is the tutorial for you. We're going to show you how you can drag and create shortcuts in your Mac Finder. Then we're going to go into the Google Drive website and show you how you can create shortcuts. We're then going to turn a Chrome page into a physical Mac app and add it into the system tray. Finally, we're going to show you how you can remove Apple's own apps from the tray at the bottom. So let's crack on. First up, we're gonna check that we have the Google Drive app installed on our Mac, and I'll put a link in the description for you to be able to download that if you haven't already. Then we're going to go across to Finder, find the folder that we want to prioritize and add to favorites, click, drag, and move it over into the left-hand column. Notice we can't add it into the location section, but we can add it under favorites. Once we're ready, just release the mouse and our folder is now in favorites. Next up, we're gonna head over to Google Chrome and I've got a couple of tabs open already. And we're gonna look at Google Drive. Once we're in the folder that we want to again add to favorite in Google Drive, we right click on the folder and then click on Add to Google Drive, then select the location. In this case, I've gone for the default My Drive location, which is at the top of our Google Drive system. Next up, we're going to head over to the three dots in the top right hand corner, and now we're going to create a shortcut to Google Drive. We can click on Open as Window and check that box. And now we can see that this is a contained app. So there's no address bar at the top and also there's no tabs on this. So that's a really neat way of showing your Google Drive if you prefer not to install the app. You can also rename the Google Drive folder. However, even though we link to it from an individual page, this will default to the Google Drive main landing page. So the top level of the Google Drive folder system. So we're just going to close these windows down now and just test that Google Drive folder. And as we can see, it's gone to the root of Google Drive as opposed to the folder that we created the link from. I'll close down the Finder window and now we're going to head over to the Calendar tab. Once again, opening Google Chrome. Again, we go to the three dots in the top right hand corner, go to More Tools and Create Shortcut. If we select to open as a window, it'll remove the address bar, tabs, etc., from the top. So that's what we're going to do. And again, it's opened up as its own individual Chrome based app, which again is really quick to load and very useful. We're now going to drag it into the tray at the bottom by click, hold, and drag. And then if we hover over them, we can see the spotlight on each. To remove the Apple Calendar from the tray, we can simply set it so it doesn't open on launch and then finally remove that from tray. Really hope this has helped you. These tips have certainly helped me. See you next time.